So if you're self-publishing your book, you're going to need to plan out a book launch. And when you're planning your book launch, a book publishing timeline is going to be your best friend. This is the timeline that you create for yourself so you can know when all your due dates are, deadlines, and all the different tasks that you need to complete. So this video today, we're going to be talking about not only how you can create a book publishing timeline, but we're going to be talking about each task within the book publishing timeline timeline and some different tools that you can use to create that timeline to keep yourself organized. In this video, I'm also going to be going behind the scenes to show you the timeline that I've created for my current book that I'm working on publishing. That way you can really see it in action and you'll also get some behind the scenes info of when some exciting stuff is going to be happening for this book. I'll be talking about all the different steps that you need to include in your book publishing timeline and then even a little bit of an estimate on how long those tasks may take you. So there will be quite a few different tools and resources I talk about in this video so be sure to stay tuned. My name is Mandy Lynn. I'm an author, book cover designer, and the creator of the Book Launch Planner and I make weekly videos on the business of being an author. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so you never miss an upload. So before we go too far into everything, I do want to mention this book here. So this is book four in the Marketing for Authors series. This is co-written by myself and Bethany Atazada. We co-wrote the entire series, so make sure you check out the entire series. This specifically is Plan a Profitable Book Launch, Create a Successful Release Strategy with Publishing Timelines, Pre-Order Campaigns, Getting Reviews, and more. Now, I won't be able to talk in depth about everything in this video, so if there's any steps you want to learn more about, be sure to check out this book or even better, the entire Marketing for Authors series. And also be sure to check out all the YouTube videos I have here on my channel because my channel has a ton of resources that you can access for free at any time. When it comes to your book publishing timeline, there's two major types of timeline. There's the digital book publishing timeline and the paper book publishing timeline. I first want to talk about the paper book publishing timeline. So I personally use the book launch planner. This is a planner that I designed for myself and for other authors that you can use during the book publishing process. It has checklists, templates, and of course a book publishing timeline that you can fill out. In the book publishing timeline, it not only has all the different steps that you need to consider. It also has an estimate of time on how long it may take you to do each step. Now besides the book launch planner, you can also use something like sticky notes to write out steps and kind of reorder them to change up when you think the due dates will be. I know that's what I did when I first got started. You can just write it out in a notebook and kind of try to organize yourself. But while all that is great, I do find I need some sort of structure, which is why I like to point you guys to tools like the Book Launch Planner to provide that structure. Or you can also do digital tools, which I'll talk about next. When I create a digital book publishing timelines, I love to use the Gantt chart method. It's a very visual way of viewing everything and we'll get into it in detail in just a second. But just know that's the method I use when I digitally plan out my book timeline. So this brings us to the more fun portion of the video where we actually get a walkthrough of these digital timelines. I'm going to show you two different ones. I have this one that is just an Excel sheet. And then I have this one here, which is in an app called monday.com. And I can't wait to tell you all about it. Um, but I wanted to show you the free option first. So this is what I use. This is actually the exact um, Gantt chart that I created to publish my book, Meet Me at the Summit, which is out now. So as you can see, I always break things down into three different sections. We have the create section, the market section, and the post release section. Now I actually created a blank template for you guys. So if you want to create your own Gantt chart, be sure to use the template download, which will be in the description of this video. You can download this template for free and fill it in. But basically you can see we have our tasks off to the left here. And then on this top row is just the different months. And then each month has um, four columns because we have four weeks in each month. 
And then I just color it in to kind of visually show when that task is happening. And then you can see I also have dates, which is the exact date it is due. And then usually what would happen is that there would be a date here, like that would be the date. And then once I finished the task, I deleted the date to show that it was done, which is why we have a lot of colors going on, but not a whole lot of numbers. You can see here, there's just a couple spots where I forgot to delete numbers. Um, so this is great. But I, I found this is a little bit harder to edit. And I recently, within the past year, discovered this app here, which is Monday, and I'm obsessed with it. So as you can see, I have a lot of different things going on in the Monday app. Um, but today, specifically, we're just talking about the timeline that I created using Monday.com. Now, if you end up loving Monday as much as I do, be sure to use my affiliate link in the description of this video. I cannot recommend them enough. I use them for everything. I use them for planning out YouTube videos, social media content. Later on this month, I'm actually doing an exclusive video for my YouTube members on how I use Monday to plan out social media content. If that sounds like a video you wanna see, then be sure to join as a YouTube member on the Indie Author Insider tier. That way you'll have access to that video when it comes out but I literally use Monday for absolutely everything, especially um, organizing my cover design clients and what their status is and all of that. But today we're just talking about the book publishing timeline because it is so visual. This is a Gantt chart that you can create directly in Monday. So we have our main table right here. This is kind of where you start out and as you can see, uh, just like I did for this Gantt chart, I broke things out into sections, but I actually broke it out even more. Let's see, so I'm just gonna break things down a little bit. I have the create section, which is write and edit, the create, a second create section, which is design and format, the launch section, the book adventure box, because I'm not 100% sure, but I'm hoping to do a book adventure box for uh, Project Road Trip 2, which is the working title. Meet Me at the Summit, which is the first book in the series, had the book adventure box and it was a huge success. So I'm hoping to do that again for Project Road Trip 2 when the time comes, but I haven't decided yet. And then I have another uh, section here, which is post release. So I'm just going to open it up and we can see all the different tasks. So I have um, write first draft, self edits, alpha readers, my edits, beta readers, my edits, copy edits, my edits, proof reading, finalized book, blurb. So this is everything that has to do with writing and editing the book. Uh, and then we have the timeline here, which is like my due dates, uh, the status, whether it's done or I'm working on it. And then we have here the person that is actually doing it. So anything that is blue is my job, pink is beta readers or alpha readers, and then purple is editors. And then just over here, I put a quick time estimate just to give myself a reference. So I'm gonna close that one and we'll open the next one, uh, which is create, which is the design and format section. So we have design cover and underneath design cover, I broke it down a little bit more so I have uh, draft cover and finalized cover. We have format print arc and arc is advanced reader copy. I usually like to format the print edition just to physically hold it myself, look through it, make sure everything's okay. I don't actually mail out print advanced reader copies. I just don't find it to be worth it. And then format the paperback. And this basically is me finalizing it because um, I have the first time I format it just to physically mail it to myself and see it. And then I have the last time I format it to really make sure it's all squeaky clean. And then format the ebook. Then we'll move on to the launch section, which is super exciting. So we have a reveal title, cover reveal sign up, submit book for pre-order, a uh, cover reveal, the day of cover reveal, uh, our pre-order campaign, advanced reader copies, book trailer, and then finally release day. Now, if you're looking at the dates on this calendar, please know this is all tentative. Please don't see these dates and assume this is definitely what's happening because all of this could change. 
And then we have the book adventure box. I'm not going to open that today because nothing is set in stone. Uh, and then post release, I have encourage reviews, feature reviews, and then feature quotes from the book. These are all just like quick little marketing campaigns for social media. Now these are all the basic steps. I personally probably have some steps in here that I do that you guys don't do, or there may be steps that you want to do that I won't be doing. Like a street team is totally an option for planning your book launch, but I don't think I'll be doing that this time around. If you want a nice list of all the different tasks, the book launch planner on page 14, I actually have a publishing to-do list. I have all the different things that you'll need to do during the publishing process. And then on the opposite page, we have the different marketing methods to just kind of get your brain going on the different things that you can do in order to market your book. So that's why I like to say I kind of use both the book launch planner and a digital a book publishing timeline because I kind of use the book launch planner as a starting point and then really do the nitty gritty planning uh, digitally. So what you do when you're in Monday is that you start off in this main table, um, plugging everything in, putting in timeline info, um, I also assign myself as the person. When I connect my profile to the timeline or the due dates, I'll actually get notifications and reminders that the due date is coming up. And that's all something you can do in the settings of the Monday app. And it's one of my favorite things to do because if I go over here, this little My Work tab, I can click on that. And these are my tasks that are overdue. These are my tasks that I need to do literally today. Uh, these are the tasks that I have coming up and these are the tasks coming up next week and then later on. And that is how I organize everything. So once you plug everything into the main table, you can then create a Gantt view and that creates the Gantt chart, which we see right here. So you can see again, we have our little sections. Uh, the write and edit section, the design and format section, the launch section, and the book adventure box. I'm missing my post release section from the chart, but that's because I don't have any dates associated with it yet. But once I add the dates onto that section, it will automatically load into here. But as you can see, this is kind of the timeline that I created. So you can see here that I was writing the first draft of this book from November 1st to February 5th. And then I was doing self edits from February 8th to May 25th. And it was just with alpha readers from May 25th to June 10th. And this green means that the task is done. Gray means that I just haven't said anything about the task. So currently it is June 23rd as I film this video. So I'm right here. So I'm actually gonna click and change this to working on it. And now you can see it's in yellow. And you can also see, instead of clicking working on it, I can also put that I'm stuck or I can add in other different labels. Like I can hit apply new label and just say, literally anything. And the best part is, is that you can easily move things around. So again, this is a very visual way of seeing everything. And I like having everything separated out by section, like the two different create sections, the launch section. Um, but what I was having an issue with was that my self edits were taking so long, as you can see, uh, it took 107 days, because if I hover my mouse over it, it tells me that. Uh, it took me 107 days to do self-edits, and that's just lovely. But I ended up having to do things like this, where I was constantly moving my timeline around. And as you can see, um, it automatically reorders it, and I'm just going to... I'm gonna put you back where you belong. But it's really cool because you can easily move things around and, and make it visual. And there's even, if you upgrade your account, you can actually make it so if I move this date out, it will automatically move the date out for everything else after it. But that is a, um, but that's a feature that you have to pay extra for. And I personally didn't pay extra for it. I think about it, but, this isn't like a feature I use a lot, 
but it's something that you should know that you're able to do in Monday. So literally, if like one task is taking you longer and you have to bump the date out, it will automatically bump the date out for everything, which can be super helpful. And this is a good way to make sure that you have nothing overlapping because that's an issue that I always have is that because we've got so many different things going on, you can see in quarter three of this year, we are gonna have a lot of different things overlapping. So while my book is with beta readers, I need to make sure that I'm working on designing the book cover. And I'm also gonna be finalizing the book cover while I'm applying the edits that the beta readers gave me. And then while it's in copy edits, I'll be revealing the cover, submitting the book for pre-order, having a pre-order campaign, and it's nice to really just be able to visually line everything up and see where things are overlapping to make sure you're not doing too much at once. And it's just a really great way to visually see everything that's going on. Right now, because I am still just in the editing phase, we haven't stepped too much into these other tasks, but you see this nice lovely blue line that's telling me, you know, this is where I should be at. So you can see we have these dates and just like earlier, if I hover my mouse over it, it tells me I was given 41 days to do this task and the timeline has already started. Like this says June 14th through July 24th and right now it's June 23rd. So I'm in the middle of it. You can kind of see this little progress bar right here. Um, but I was given 41 days to design the book cover and I have 31 days left and I gave myself such a wide range to design the book cover because I knew I was going to be busy and just doing it in pockets of my time. Um, so I actually kind of totally forgot that I'm supposed to be designing the book cover right now, which is why it's nice to come on here and we see this lovely blue line going through everything that signifies um, where we're at in terms of the date. And it's just a really great way to organize yourself and make sure nothing falls through the cracks. So that is a look into my book publishing timeline that I created using monday.com. And like I said, I am obsessed. And that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Monday. I showed you some of the features that I love most, but there's a lot of other different things that you can do as well. So if there's maybe other features that you want to see or other bits of the planning process for um, publishing your book, make sure to let me know in the comments down below and I'll see if I can do a video on it. If you have a different method for creating your book publishing timeline, let me know in the comments down below because I would love to hear about it. I'm always up for trying different things. So that is it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, comment down below, and subscribe. I'll see you all next week.